where it can shift uh, some of the smaller stuff over. You don't want to take, hey, here's this giant battle and shift the whole battle. That's, that's going to cause problems as it's moving. But you can take some of the smaller stuff off of there that's less processor intensive, um, you know, so you're moving like you 1 or 2% right over yep. rather than trying to move 25 or 30% to, an, to another processor. All right, let's go see how big and barney these things are. Okay, so is this the extra large assembler? No, that's just a large assembler. I thought you wanted to go with the large assembler first. Uh, what? No, whatever the biggest one is. Extra. We're 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 not doing no onesie twosie. We're we're going yeah, the big is... the big one. Uh, and this yeah, okay. is the so extra large the blast furnace. Are? There it is. Each one hey, of those doors that works. is a connection point. What's the dirty little secret? Uh, what dirty little secret? I don't know. Oh, that's right. I was going to tell them about how we all met. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, funny thing happened one day. <clears throat> um, I'd been playing here on the Shadecrest server. Got this it. was this was way, way back. Um, uh, long before uh, uh, most of what you see here was even possible. Um, I, I don't know. How long ago was that? It must have been six months or more, right? Almost a it's year? probably about a year ago now. Yeah, yeah so probably about a year ago. Okay, um, I'll, I'll give you a second there, Panda. His, he said his stream is breaking up. So um, I'll just kind of go into uh, to my part. So um, I had been playing on Shadecrest, and I really loved the game, and I got in touch with the, uh, the, the guy who, who was uh, the admin and even the owner, basically. And I talked to them, and I said, Hey, you know, I really want to be a part of your community, and you guys have this server, and... I never see any admins on. I would love to take over the role of being an admin just so we can keep the uh, the jerks in check because at that time uh, it was so easy for for people to just keep grabbing banana boats and crashing them into what you had spent days or weeks building and then when they died they would just grab a new banana boat and come and crash into you again until you finally got so pissed off that you quit playing. And this was common. This was so common. So uh, they said, yeah, okay, uh, we'll go ahead. Uh, you know, we, they got to know me first, and then I became an admin. So I had this incredibly intricate base with defenses and, and all this stuff, and I'd spent a lot of time working on it. I was very, very happy with it. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing it, uh, go look at, like, my first uh, Space Engineers uh, videos on YouTube. Uh, that was at the time. Um, and I, you may even see these guys on there at some point. I, I don't really remember. I, I don't remember if I was recording that day when I met, met you guys. Yeah. yeah, you were. <laughs> so, so basically, uh, I come on and uh, I find that I, I think one of my, um, like half my base was offline and uh, one of my med bays was offline and so I, I log in, you know, and at this point I'm an admin, okay? And, and I, I'd only had to ban one person at, so far, you know? And I come on and I'm like, what's going on? And I'm, I'm looking through my control panels and I'm seeing stuff that's turned off and disabled. And I saw something was owned by somebody called Mr. Calzone. And, um, you know, I looked at the list of players that were online. And, uh, and I found where he was in my base, you know? And I said, hey, you better get out of my base because this is mine and I worked really hard at it. Um, and, and I don't think I told him that I was an admin at first because I, I kind of wanted to see how he would respond. And so he responded with, oh, okay, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't know, you know, that it, I don't remember exactly what he said, but it, it was kind of one of those, okay, I wasn't sure if anybody was really I living here type things. I anyone going back to look at those videos with the knowledge that I was drunk at the time. 
because <laughs> because that matters. Um, and he he told me that too later. Um, but he he was very respectful about it, and he said, "Okay, you know, I'll uh, I'll leave." And so we started talking. And uh, he gave me compliments about my base design, and and I asked him, you know, how how difficult it was for him to break in. He said he died probably 50 times, um, and he said that I had really good gun placement, or more. And, yeah, or more. And, and he liked the design. He said he spent hours trying to crack into my base. And um, so we started talking. I said, hey, you know, um, eventually, of course, I had to let him know that I was one of the admins, and I said, thank you for being honest with me. Um, thank you for being respectful. Uh, I really appreciate that because I nobody likes to wield. Well, hopefully nobody likes to wield the ban hammer indiscriminately. I'm sure there are some people, but I'm not one of them. And so uh, we started talking, and uh, we kind of became friends. And then I got to meet Parker, who was his buddy and had helped him, but wasn't online when when I had come on. And so over the last you know, m many months and, and or year, whatever it's been, we've uh, we've kind of kept in touch on Steam. We've played a little bit here and there, and now that uh, we've got the Shadecrest server up and running again with a fresh, clean world, we're all here, and you can see what we're making, and we're having a great time. Ooh, did somebody put lights in? Oh no, that was just somebody grinding, <laughs> I think, or uh, welding, I think. Um, so that's the dirty secret about how we met. Um, and so it's, it's a good lesson to everyone that just because you meet under, you know, harsh circumstances, poor. yeah, poor circumstances, um, you don't have to stay that way. Um, and you can see here that, that we have a great time working together. Um, so that's, that, that, that's the dirty little secret. I can, I can also part of explain my side of, of that whole scenario is that, me and Parker had been playing together for a while, and we'd been server oh, hopping wow. for a while, looking looking for somewhere that we could try and build on a server maybe we could build on that wouldn't be griefed to death horribly in the first ten minutes of playing. Which we were used to. And we'd kind of gotten into the habit of we'd get onto a server, with brand new, with nothing, and we'd be looking around for some place to build, and we'd come across destroyed bases, as was very common. You know, some place that's absolutely gutted. Somebody's effort just shot to the stars. Destroyed. And yes. see, oh, well, salvage rights. Nobody's on. Nobody else is playing. Base looks abandoned, completely destroyed. There might be one or two operating things left in it, like a lone power generator or a couple of guns. Yep. And it'd be very common. Motors. And, you know, somebody would obviously have rage quit and abandoned their base. Some of them were quite extensive. It'd be, this was a actual in-depth faction base that had, like, fighter facilities and, you know, had a large ship in production hidden inside the core of an asteroid. And when we would eventually move on because we'd start to rebuild and someone else would come on and decide to do, hey, you're scavenging or you're building a base and decide that they wanted the banana boat as well, it'd be, well, time to find a new server because destruction would follow and they'd check in on us every other day to see if we were still building there. Yeah, at, at that time, man, it was... Go for it. Oh, at, at that time, it was just... Kill or be killed, it seemed. Everybody was constantly uh, coming on and griefing. And one of the problems was um, that Steam had had a free weekend one time. And so many people had installed the game during that time. And uh, maybe it was like a free week. It was quite a while. Um, it was a long and, period of time, yeah. Yeah, and, and so people would get on and they were just... Just server hopping, Dicks. griefing all over the place. It was it was horrible. Really didn't help with the fact that the admins, decide, oh, like the creators of the game, made the first initial video of people crashing their ships into other people's ships. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I and commonly heard. Oh, well, I thought that was part of the game. To the simple <laughs> fact that it's. In the it's main... in the trailer. So what yeah, you yeah. in the trailer doesn't mean you have to do it every chance you get. And and honestly, um, at that time, um, 
I think we all server hopped trying to find a place to uh, to call home. And I had been on several servers as well. Um, and I remember I was on one server uh, for quite a while, probably, you know, I say quite a while, meaning a couple of weeks. And at that time, you know, a couple of weeks was a lot of time for me. Um, and I remember running into uh, one particular person. And interestingly enough, um, that person came on to Shadecrest. And he didn't remember my name because I didn't grief him, but I remembered his name because he, he had griefed me, he destroyed my base. Just, you know, while I was online, you know, I came online and, and there he was. And so I'm like, all right, I'm done with the server. And then I found Shadecrest. And so I remembered his name. And uh, he eventually... Like I remember John Trovoltos. <laughs> yes. uh, not that guy, but he eventually Rocking came... Fires of hell. He eventually came over to my base. And I said, hey, what are you doing? And he said, oh, I'm just, I'm just checking it out. I said, okay. Well, you need to leave. And he didn't. And then, you know, of course, he started trashing my base. And I said, um, you know, this is your one warning. If you don't leave now, I'm going to ban you. Um, you know, and, you know, I'm sure people hear those kind of threats all the time. But he didn't bother to look to see if I really was an admin, which I was. And so he was the first person that I banned, him and his buddy. Because they both came over and uh, one of them built a, uh, a ship with a bunch of grinders and came over and just, you know, started taking out my base. So, boom, boom, you're banned. Because um, he wouldn't even talk to me, you know, and I knew him from the other one. So, you know, sometimes that's the way things go. Um, but I, I don't want to have to kick anybody or ban anybody. It's... It, it it doesn't it's not a fun job. Yeah, it's 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 not the fun part of being an admin. The receiving end of someone destroying our crap on a number of occasions. And so when it hit me that oh crap. This belongs to someone who's here going, Hey, could you stop doing that? And it's like I've burrowed through like twenty meters of asteroid and defenses and, you know, destroyed a bunch Everything. of shit and had broken some solar panels and at the time were incredibly difficult to make. Yeah. Now they're not. <laughs> which was Friday when... Yeah. Yeah, which was yeah. why I was taking them apart in the first place. It's like solar panels, <laughs> I'm full taking those. And it's a we hit that point where we realized, oh crap, that that person still plays. This is still an active base. We need to repay it. Yet. <laughs> so we started giving stuff back. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how many people play on our server? Uh, well, I can show you the list of people that have logged in. Um, not all of them are active. Um, there's a couple that are relatively on, and, you know, they don't, they're not on all the time. Wow, that's going to be ready. Yeah, Don't even it bother, is. Chris. You're, you're so, gonna um, waste your Gilmesh was on earlier. He played for probably two hours tonight. Um, and I've he's, never seen him before that. no, Holy but, 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 shit, but, but online. Yeah, but he said he came over from my YouTube channel. So, uh, you know, obviously, welcome him. Hey, thanks for coming on, because uh, I invite everybody hey. to come and play with us. Uh, CyberVic, he is uh, the lead uh, admin for all of Shadecrest's servers. Uh, Camsco, we've seen online a couple of times. Uh, Wolflord, he was on again tonight. We've seen him a couple of times. Um, this Armadillo guy, um, I don't know. I think I've seen him once. And I haven't seen him since. Uh, Sly Solstice, he was on nope. one time, but then he hasn't been back. Uh, Real Time Inertia, I haven't seen. Um, I'll just go over the other ones. Uh, James is over 9,000. He was on with us for a while, but I haven't seen him on uh, recently. Uh, Mark the Rabbit Cat, he was playing for a while. I expect he'll come back eventually. Um, Arch. Is definitely online. Um, Arch, he's another one of the uh, Shadecrest guys. BRT, we need to get his name fixed. Um, he's uh, He actually plays with us uh, when he comes online. He's been on a couple of times. Um, I remember seeing Omega Doom the other day, but I haven't seen him again. Uh, Chinchulin, he was one of the guys that was on early in the Shadecrest. Uh, 
timeline when I was on. He came on tonight. Um, he didn't really say anything, and then he left. So I don't know if he's going to be back.